Hey, Rebecca Doodles here. The full version of this episode is available on Newgrounds. In wanting to anime and like yeah, in certain basically, music. Yeah, basically, I was How the only you... person that wanted to be an animator from early like teen years. Not even teen. I was like five years old, and I knew I wanted to be an animator. So, <laughs> yeah. five years old. Yeah. How do you make a a big brain decision like that at five? What what inspired you in that way? Have you, do your parents are they um, involved in art of some form or was it no. cartoons? It, it was basically cartoons. There was one cartoon I think on some kind of Disney Channel, like German version of Disney Channel, which was a Jim Henson slash I think Disney production, Dog City, it's called. Okay. Um, and it's. It's a very old cartoon, but it shows basically this hand puppet that is an animator. And you see like the easel and like the place where he draws the animations. And on the paper, on the animation paper, uh, the Disney production is the, um, they animate the figures on the paper. Like they're talking to the dog puppet who's the animator. And it's, I, it's really nicely done. I think someone just posted it in chat and it, it does look really nicely done. But, like, your audience is just, like, your community then. Like, you're not trying to pitch it as a show. You just want to work on it and have it out there, is what I'm assuming. And yeah. maybe have, have people attracted to it enough to support the Patreon. Yeah, because recently I went to, through a friend, uh, to a Zoom meeting with the guy, or one of the people that made Spyro the Dragon. And because oh, wow. the, the dude is in the industry, I was just, like, asking like oh how do i pitch the best you know just a few questions because i'm not i'm not in california right i, I can't yeah. just walk into some studio's door and like i have this new cool thing right okay that makes sense then because the whole community is centered like on fur affinity i and when i was 13 i had a fur affinity account my older brother had one i was like hey this looks cool and then me and my best friend made one and they were like hey I'm 13. This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's having sex with everyone. What is going on here? Oh, have you, have you seen the spiral tag on there? Oh my god. Oh god. A lot of parents pay attention to their kids, and if they get if they're getting bullied and they're not finding a way to express themselves, then it just ends up really bad. Oh, yeah. So I'm the, glad you like, had that. Yeah, like my parents, uh, each. Each year, we would always, around the holiday time, do, like, big trips around Europe, right? So yeah. they would always give me, like, a confident boost because for some reason, always when I was away from class and just talking with people who didn't even speak German or English, and I had to communicate with, like, hands and feet and stuff, I would always instantly make friends, right? Yeah. And when I was at home in class, I wouldn't. So I felt like something was weird about that right yeah so you were like hey well i can be normal around other people who don't judge me but for some reason when i'm at class people judge me really harshly yeah. so you you knew it was at least that environment causing it and that you're not just the type of person that like for some reason people want to pick on it was just that environment where kids were gonna be rude to you or like your classmates it's not strangers like if it probably felt really good that it's like hey i can get along with people like i am normal you know people yeah. don't just see me as a punching bag that that's really nice yeah and i, and I mean th that school wasn't great there were incidents that got people into the hospital and it, actually it was more than one incident oh one. my god <laughs> jesus where were you raised at what is the, i don't know germany <laughs> germany people. for that and then in the end you just weren't strong enough or you struggled too hard or you stopped sleeping and that's mm -hmm. and that's really what it was and it, I, I loved it i thought it was cool i thought the message is way more important than the gameplay but that's just me when it comes to like like storytelling, I I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, there's actually a kind of darker story behind it, and every time I tell the story, the voice chat I'm in gets like really like, oh my god, I didn't know that. Um. So I guess I should tell it now. Uh, why this mod exists and why it is the way it is because some people who can't relate yet because they're too young which I feel like this is a mod that isn't for young children definitely not they shouldn't play it um 
because the mod exists um, due to uh, basically, first of all, COVID hitting and, you know, that all was, everyone was struggling, right? Uh, then the before, uh, you know, you know, the, the riots in America that I heard all about and everything. And then it slowly came together and we, we, me and my family sort of went through that first year kind of like, oh, we kind of still doing fine, right? It didn't, didn't hurt us too much, but like my parents are a bit struggling with like, oh, it could be that layoffs are happening in their company and, you know, soonish I should have some money put to the side just in case, right? Right. And I thought, man, this is this is getting serious now, right? Like it's, it's if you worked on the thing for many years and you sort of had like a comfy living situation, you didn't quite think about stuff getting real at some point. Um Yeah. And then, you know, uh, this year, this right relatively at the start, I think it was like two months in, um basically I had an appointment to get my wisdom teeth removed, right? Yeah. And in the same week, because my father was suddenly struggling with health, and it turns out that he had a hernia, and he had to get operated. And the exact same week, funny enough, I had it like already planned, like, oh, I'm getting the wisdom teeth removed at this and this point. I already planned that out, everything. Um, he then, because it was supposed to be quick, getting stitched up and everything, the hernia, it was the same week. And the same week as well, my mom went to the hospital 